Today's last top story brings us back to Tallahassee where the Medical Marijuana Business Association of Florida hosted its 2019 Legislative Policy Conference at Florida State University on Tuesday. The conference ran all day from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. And here, industry stakeholders, leaders, and lawmakers came together to talk about the issues in Florida's cannabis industry. This conference made great timing because we're only one week into legislative session, SB 182 was being heard this week, and in general, it's tough to get in front of legislators. Uh, So now, stakeholders had the opportunity to talk with legislators and voice their concerns in person. Curtis Richardson, the city commissioner and mayor pro tempore Tallahassee, opened the conference and welcomed attendees. The conference was then filled with panelists ranging from Holly Bell, Florida's new director of cannabis, Kim Rivers, CEO of True Leave, and Florida's agricultural commissioner, Nikki Fried, among others. The panels and the attendees discussed what rules and regulations will pass this session. They also spoke about upcoming changes to Florida's cannabis laws and more. Something I thought they that was interesting at the conference was the emphasis of Florida's hemp program. Just to give you a quick recap on where we are on that, in late December of 2018, the federal farm bill was passed and signed, which allowed states to create their own hemp programs and submit a plan to the USDA to run the program. Right now, we're in the uh, second week of March. We're in session. Florida has three hemp bills that have been filed, and those can be monitored online. This process takes 60 days, and once the 60 days passes, Director Bell hopes to have a hemp bill that will be approved and will be given to the Department of Agriculture to implement. But until that process is done, we don't have an exact timeline. Director Bell explained that she's ready to implement the program. She just needs a bill put in front of her. So in the meantime, I'll certainly keep you posted about any movement with Florida's hemp program. Uh, But just to give you her top priorities, the first one is to provide education and to get a bill through the legislator. Second, she wants to start to build out the infrastructure that will support the bill, which includes getting a USDA plan together, getting rules written, and continuing talking to people and educating them about Florida's hemp program. Head to floridapolitics.com for a full breakdown of this story.